Omicron fueling a tidal wave of new COVID infections. This week, we saw schools close, testing delays, and new mask recommendations. And Dr. Fauci is saying virtually everyone is bound to be exposed. With this extraordinary, uh, uh, unprecedented degree of efficiency of transmissibility, will ultimately find just about everybody. But could this surge actually help get us closer to herd immunity? Tonight, Adrian Moore is getting answers. With Omicron cases soaring, infectious disease experts say this could be the variant that gets us closer to herd immunity. That's the silver lining with all this. Eventually, everybody's going to get vaccinated or they're going to get COVID, and so we'll, we will have some sort of population immunity. 94% of people must be immune to interrupt transmission, according to the Mayo Clinic. But with COVID, health experts say it is time sensitive, with antibodies declining a few months out. While getting infected provides partial immunity, Dr. Dean Blumberg maintains vaccines are still the best way to reach that number. The more people who are vaccinated and then finally do get, par get partial immunity from infection, you know, that means that when another variant comes around, even if it can escape previous immunity, the partial immunity is likely to make it less severe and more of an outpatient illness. His prediction? COVID infections will become more routine, like the flu, and will begin to live with and protect against outbreaks every year. I think what we're going to learn to do is to live with it. It won't be a pandemic in the future. It will be endemic, and we will learn to live with it just like we learned to live with influenza and other respiratory viruses. As for a timeline, Dr. Bloomberg thinks that we'll be in a post-pandemic world in the next several months. He believes we'll start having enough immunity in the population that we will no longer be in this public health crisis. So if everyone is likely to get it at some point, why not try to get Omicron deliberately? CBS 13's Felina Jones is checking in with doctors to see if that's a good idea or not. Getting COVID on purpose? I think they're crazy. It kind of makes sense. Selfish. As Omicron, the less severe but more contagious variant, continues to spread, some wonder if intentionally getting the virus could help with boosting immunity. Mark Cuevas, masked in blue, thinks that theory is flawed. It makes me mad because those people are choosing to take risk not only for themselves but for everyone else. While against intentional infections, Randy Hodge understands why people might be curious. I think it's still probably too early to tell. It it, in some ways, it kind of makes sense just because it's like chicken pox. And Brian Kelly also against for sickness, but pro herd immunity. It's your body's natural resistance. That's how the human race has survived. You adapt. CBS 13 wanted to know if COVID infections are inevitable for most. Where's the flaw in this theory? Not everyone may get infected, uh, but we still have to, you know, work to prevent people who are at severe risk. Of Dr. Jeffrey Klausner, USC professor of public health, says there are many risks, including long COVID, unknown reactions, infecting immunocompromised individuals, and stressing the health care system. You know, no one uh, lives on an island, so, you know, if someone were to get COVID and were to get, you know, sick, they would, you know, uh, potentially be at risk for um, infecting others. They'd also, you know, if they had to go to the emergency room or the hospital, that would consume, you know, very precious resources. An attempt at forcing herd immunity, Klausner believes, will ultimately backfire. We just don't know in any given individual, you know, how severe that COVID uh, might be. Klausner also brought up the concerns over treatment. He worries with a shortage of availability that could put more people at risk.